water power, cheap labour and the water frame now allowed cheap cotton. It had made Arkwright an extremely wealthy man and turned spinners into factory employees. Arkwright's water frame was so large that spinning yarn at home was no longer an option. Instead, Cromford, like this later Arkwright mill, was built just wide enough for two water frames end to end. In this room, that's 48 frames, a total of 2,304 spindles. And that is not just a change in scale, that is a change in which the whole industry is organised. Arkwright, paranoid that his invention might be stolen, worked the mill 120 hours a week to get as much money as possible out of it. And the people who worked in this mill couldn't stop and start, come and go as they pleased, as they used to when they worked from home. They were now factory employees. And they worked when Arkwright told them. Just imagine the noise.